Yo. Come on, man.
Now everyone. Ooh, we can do this. Let's get started. are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway. As I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. I see. You're approaching reality from a rational point of view. No, it could actually be that you understand reality's unfairness, yet you're willing to stand up to it. That may be the reason you're at this academy now. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. 
What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? Kind of feels like our time's finally here. I have even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Go to bed. The real questions. Hey, it's me. Like... Turn in for the night. What's up? Mm. What? 
Why, why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah. What do we do? That would just make us appear even more suspicious. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Whew, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! My kebab! lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Even with this sticky sweatiness included. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? They barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You wanna go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water in a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Oh, well. 
See you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Was delicious. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well... At least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. What did you say? Where have you been? Been searching all along. Confessing while I know without a without a sign, without grasping it. The real question to be.
Sorry. Bye. 
Come to think of it. about to leave too. Who is it? by an insane group. Mm. Well, let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Should be fun. Oh, it's so hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? Got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji? Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty.
<clears throat> Come on. Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. Festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to? Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. No, you moron. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry, or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What the world are they? You know about them? Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the world. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear, due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime.
World-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Yes. 
Yeah. Well then. What? Tell me. Yeah. Busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Don't get all quiet on me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Guess it is my fault. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm going to be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> You weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjid and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjid. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. 
We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. This stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Hmm. I should write something.
tonight. back. So we still don't have any tangible clues.
listen. Besides, I'm, uh... done.
Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent, so this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. I don't get it. buzzing earlier. Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Shouldn't you respond to it? Hmm? You can't reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this.
considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person Mejed? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Mejed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? 
Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something.
What do you want to do? Let me explain. Yes! All right. Oh! Well then. Good morning. <sighs> so anyway... buzzing. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? from this guy. Tell him. We need the name of the target.
So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's Boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Why do you know about that? Hmm. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, 
Think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Up until now, our biggest lead seems to be... The Chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm. Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Oh, sorry. Come again. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. 
Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off! What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. That's enough! Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the Chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba?
selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. He can't go out? Operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Nope. I want sushi. All right. We'll go tomorrow night.
I'll just add this. 